Now, Sweden officially joined the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also known as NATO, on Thursday, making it the newest member of the military alliance. Stockholm abandoned its non-alignment policy for greater safety within the North Atlantic Treaty Organization after Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022. Now, Sweden's last war ended in 1814, and when the rifles and cannons it aimed at Norway fell silent, the once warring power should not take up arms again. For the next two centuries, Sweden embraced a policy of neutrality, refusing to take sides in wars or join any military alliance. It was a stance that kept peace at home and contributed to the country becoming a prosperous welfare state and humanitarian superpower. Sweden also brings resources such as cutting-edge submarines tailored to Baltic Sea conditions into the alliance. And not to forget, a sizable fleet of domestically produced Gripen fighter jets. Sweden officially joined the North Atlantic Treaty Organization on Thursday, making it the newest member of the military alliance. The nation's prime minister was in Washington to mark the milestone. Today is a truly historic day. Sweden's membership follows another Scandinavian nation, Finland, in the two years after Russia's invasion of Ukraine forced European capitals to rethink the risk posed by Moscow. Russia will stay a serious threat to the Euro-Atlantic security for the foreseeable future. It was in this light that Sweden applied to join the NATO Defense Alliance, to gain security, but also to provide security. We have unique capabilities to contribute on land, in the air, at sea. Our support to Ukraine is a fundamental part of that. NATO's expansion is also a blow for Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has sought to prevent any further strengthening of the alliance. This has been a little bit of a road, but um, I think we've known from day one that we would be here today. The U.S. had pushed hard for Sweden's membership. Here's U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Our NATO alliance, our defensive alliance, is now stronger and larger than it's ever been. Sweden faced opposition from members Turkey and Hungary, which both have cordial relations with Russia. But Istanbul relented in January and Budapest agreed last month. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.